Pro wrestling has always been filled with athletes who have larger-than-life personalities and statures. In the case of quite a number of stars, their weight didn't only put their lives at risk, but also became a determining factor in determining whether WWE would still be willing to work with them. Sadly, the following stars all had to get into shape as soon as possible, or face the reality of being released by the company. During the Attitude Era, Rikishi was a major fan-favorite star who was involved in many memorable segments and storylines. While being an aggressive in-ring competitor, Rikishi was interestingly paired with Too Cool Scotty Too Hotty and Grandmaster Sexay, undergoing a persona change that saw him join them in a dancing routine the moment either of them put a pair of sunglasses on his face. Rikishi also had a memorable storyline with The Rock, wherein he turned heel and took responsibility for running Stone Cold Steve Austin over nearly a year after it happened. Rikishi then entered into a feud with Austin and changed his theme song to reflect his newfound bad man status as well. The Rock was ultimately not too happy with Rikishi, and the two clashed a few times after then. Unfortunately, after the ruthless aggression era slowly began to change the layout of WWE, Rikishi faced pressure from the higher-ups to lose weight. The veteran allegedly refused to do so, and on top of this, suffered an injury that ended his heel run in the process. In 2004, Rikishi was released from WWE due to his weight issues and for failing to get medically cleared. Amongst the many out-of-this-world personas of the Attitude Era, Gangrel stood out for portraying a vampire with fangs. The veteran's wrestler name comes from the popular White Wolf role-playing game Vampire. The Masquerade, unlike the undead creatures of the series, Gangrel incorporated his love for blood and dark gothic music into his entrance. Despite all of this, Gangrel is still a human and has to take care of his body. But for whatever reason, while at the height of his career in WWE, Gangrel refused to put in any work or drop some weight, which resulted in his release from the company. An urban legend claims that one night while competing, Gangrel's stomach was too obviously visible for Vince McMahon's tastes, which led to him firing the star instead of trying to push him to get into shape. While his career with WWE never led to any main event stints or championships or accolades, Gangrel has made sporadic appearances over the years, proving that he's at least got a working relationship with them. Gangrel also reunited with Adam Edge Copeland at AEW Double or Nothing 2024, proving that his career is still going strong after all these years. Yokozuna was one of the biggest athletes in his generation, and while he always struggled with his weight throughout his life, he managed to turn it into a legitimate wrestling gimmick, portraying a Japanese sumo wrestler dominating the world of professional wrestling. Unfortunately for Yokozuna, he couldn't control his weight gain, and it began to affect his in-ring work in WWE. WWE eventually decided to send Yokozuna to a medical center in Durham to help him lose some weight and discover about healthier eating habits to keep himself in good shape. Unfortunately, Yokozuna ended up gaining more weight instead of losing the weight, which led to WWE owner Vince McMahon making the call to release Yokozuna, which according to news sources Yokozuna knew, he was getting released before Vince told him. Bray Wyatt is considered by many to be one of the most unique and create stars of his generation. Across his career, he had several gimmicks, most recognizably as the cult leader of the Wyatt family. However, in 2019, Wyatt got in a better shape and reinvented himself as the Fiend character who was an unhinged monster who destroyed everyone and anyone who stepped in his path. Shockingly, Bray was released from WWE in 2021, which confused many wrestling fans due to Bray Wyatt's merch sales being some of the highest and fans adored him. The real reason behind Wyatt's release was due to budget cuts. However, wrestling fans have not believed this reason, especially considering that The Fiend was one of the most over characters at the time. Many believe that Bray had heat with Vince McMahon and could have become difficult to work with. There have been also been rumors that Wyatt didn't want to take his health seriously and had issues with how WWE management went about addressing this with him. Shockingly, Wyatt would make a triumphant return to WWE in 2022, repackaging himself and slowly building to what could have been compelling storylines. Tragically, Wyatt passed away at the age of 36 in August 2023, ending what could have been an iconic run.
The King of the Ring Gunther brought a lot of prestige back to the WWE Intercontinental Championship when he became the longest reigning champion at 666 days. And he looks set to be a major part of the company because of his accolades winning the Intercontinental Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship, the United Kingdom Champion, and the King of the Ring Prestige. While he quickly found success on the main roster, Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio claimed Gunther faced some issues because of his weight. Meltzer noted that he found Gunther's initial tag team run interesting, and that it was likely due to the star size and that the WWE higher-ups didn't have faith in his potential as a single star yet. Meltzer also claimed that Gunther was open to criticism. WWE owner Vince McMahon wanted slimmer and more muscular wrestlers on the main roster telling Gunther to lose some weight. Despite the claims, Gunther has explained that his weight loss was his own initiative not because the WWE higher-ups told him to lose some weight. Gunther recalled preparing himself for months getting ready for his weight loss plan, and he questioned anyone who believes he looked better than he does now. Either way, his physical change paid off and made him into a major star. Back at WWE WrestleMania 33, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho went head-to-head -head for the WWE United States Championship after their pairing came to an end during the Festival of Friendship segment. While the angle is still remembered today, Vince McMahon wasn't too happy with Owens. Jericho recalled how McMahon even told Owens it was the worst match in WrestleMania history due to the issues he had with the prize fighter's physique. Jericho recalled, I think he was going through a phase where he thought maybe Kevin had some extra weight that he wanted him to lose or wasn't happy with his work as a heel. Whatever issues McMahon might have had with Owens likely cleared up over the years. Owens said he re-signed with WWE after being asked to buy McMahon, suggesting that the former boss was satisfied with his performances and physique following WrestleMania 33. Despite being considered a legend of the wrestling industry, Paul White's WWE run left a lot to be desired. Early in his run with the wrestling promotion, White was even demoted to Ohio Valley Wrestling OVW, after he had an awful match with The Undertaker that resulted in him being shouted at by the dead man. White admitted that surgery at the time resulted in him becoming out of shape and that he needed the time in Ohio Valley Wrestling. White would eventually get back into a good shape and he would mostly enjoy his WWE run through the early 2000s. Unfortunately, in 2013, he fell out of shape again, and Vince McMahon went to great lengths to motivate him to make Paul White lose weight. Vince did this by embarrassing White on live television, making him do the baby New Year thing, because Vince knew it was so awkward. Paul White said on the incident, I got fat. So he goes, so you're a fat New Year baby. Maybe you should lose some weight. But that's the kind of relationship I've had with him. The diaper worked. Following the embarrassing experience, White got into incredible shape and was able to perform in ways he hadn't been able to since his days as the giant in World Championship Wrestling, WCW. But knowing McMahon, the legend Paul White was likely very close to being released from World Wrestling Entertainment.